I'm Phil Guyman. I was a pro cyclist for 10 years. Now I'm retired, but I still train as hard as I can to set the best times on the toughest climbs I can find and go on fun adventures on my bike all over the world. This is Worst Retirement Ever. of my, my tour of my favorite road in the world, Mulholland in Los Angeles. This is the beginning of part three, uh, which is gonna be Mulholland Highway in Malibu. So part one is, uh, part one is Hollywood, Beverly Hills, the top of that ridge. And then part two will be Dirt Mulholland, which is epic, awesome trails. gonna cut it because that's what it is just occasionally you're buzzed by packs that's a big part of Mulholland Highway is folks coming out here to cruise and hang out so we have that in common uh, if you're looking for part two there's a chance it might not be up yet because the gravel bike is getting built as we speak and uh, listen if you want so yeah part three is up part one is up part two is coming and if you want something more organized than that like, go watch GCN, you know? Like, this is a one-man show over here. I'm doing my best. I remember when I was a kid, I got into Mel Brooks movies, and I made my parents go to three different blockbusters and made the employees look it up in the computer to find History of the World Part Two, which, that was Mel Brooks making a joke on me, because there is no Part Two, and uh, nine-year-old Phil fell for it. So I'm not doing it to you. See, I'm confessing it right here. Just hang on for Part Two, it's coming. Part three picks up uh, right after Topanga Canyon. That's where the dirt comes out and it gets paved again and Mohan Highway starts. So we're over in uh, Woodland Hills, Calabasas neighborhood of Los Angeles. And over here it's still pretty populated and busy, but it's, as we go north, it's gonna get more and more remote and beautiful. And we're gonna take a little detour real quick before we start the, the meat of the ride here. We're, uh, we're on a nice little bike path. Well, it's a dirt, I don't really know what kind of path this is, but uh, this shoots off of Mulholland and it's gonna take us to Peddler's Fork. Now, Peddler's Fork is a really important spot for cycling in Los Angeles. Um, it is in Calabasas, so the parking lot is a car show. Um, this, you know, we're in Kanye territory right now. But the, uh, there's a little bike shop inside, so you can get your bike tuned up while you have your coffee. Um, all the decor is bike themed. The owners are just big bike doors. This is where I have the VIP dinner for my cookie fondo. Um, this is a great spot to hang out, and, uh, and also the coffee and food is good. But uh, I just had mine, now I'm ready to do the bike ride. So at some point in this series, I feel like I should explain what Mulholland is. Uh, it's named after William Mulholland, who was a civil engineer in the very early days of Los Angeles. Like he got there, population 9,000, like late 1800s. And uh, a Wikipedia search kind of says that he was involved in a lot of shady shit with the infrastructure of the city initially. And he was the head of LA Department of Water and Power. Um, so that's about all I need to know for that. It's pretty rough, it's pretty rough. He seems like a dick, happens. A little bit north of uh, Calabasas, you get to Seven Minute Hill, which is uh, to my right here. And that's just a known cycling spot. It parallels Mahan. It's a little twistier, but a special climb for sure. One of the group rides would race up this back in the group ride eras. So we've just passed Malibu Creek and uh, King Gillette Ranch, which, as I said, I'm still looking for Queen Schick Ranch. Anyway, the, uh, we're going up this little hill. This part of Mulholland, generally Mulholland Drive in Hollywood, is at the top of the ridge. So you've got the ocean, the big ridge coming up from it, and uh, it's almost always the same in Malibu. But this, like, 10, 15-mile section is on the valley side. So to my left is the big hill, you go over that and you coast down to the ocean. 
but over here you're looking at like uh, Stunt Road is one of the climbs, Payuma, uh, some really nice hills on this side. I'll be a little bit hotter being away from the coast. Now, as you can see, most of Mulholland has a pretty decent, it's not a bike lane, but it's a shoulder. So overall, it's a safe place to ride bikes. The, uh, over here, got the 101 to my right, to the east, and the Pacific Coast Highway to the west, if you're looking to go somewhere. So, it's part of it. So if you're on Mulholland, you're here for recreation or to cruise or you're one of the lucky folks who lives around here. So I'm not gonna say it's low traffic, it's still pretty close to a city, but lots of times it's just you on the road. Now a great thing about Malibu, it's all these little sneaky places to stop for water without having to go in anywhere. Um, one of them is Old Place, which is a cool restaurant on Mulholland. It's like a, st I've actually not eaten at the restaurant, but a really nice place to, to sit and hang out. And a lot of cyclists frequent this because of Old Truck, which is uh, a little rusty truck in the back that serves espresso uh, only on the weekends before three. So it's too late. I had a late start today and I already caught the Peddler's Fork, so I'll, I'll be all right. But uh, there is a water fountain and uh, an espresso. The cookies ain't bad either. I couldn't talk when I rode past Rock Store just now. The, uh, but if Peddler's Fork and Old Place are the cyclists hang out, the motorcycles hang out at Rock Store. I've not been in there. I don't know if they sell rocks. I'm being dead honest. Looks like an old rusty gas station. Um, but that's where the motorcycle folks hang out and do whatever they do. Um, and most of the reason for that is this climb here, which is what we just call it Rock Store. Uh, at the moment, it's a bad time for them, good time for me. It's closed to traffic from the fires. There's a little bit of road damage. And I think I actually talked to some state folks for my Fondo last year. We, uh, our Fondo used to go down this um, and they were talking, we're like, when are you gonna reopen it? Cause it's mostly fine. And they kind of said like, well, having it closed for a little bit of fire damage, way less car accidents, way less police calls. So they're in no rush to patch up the couple feet that it would take, which for now, it's a paradise for cyclists to just go up here. The Tour of California's racist climb. Um, I'm riding it, chill pace. It's hot right now, it's 96 degrees, um, but I'm just gonna enjoy it. This is the, the damaged road section. I don't know how they could do anything about that except with a broom. <laughs> broom would do it. I like it close, keep it close. Rock Store is another stretch of Mulholland that if you if you see a car commercial within five seconds, you will see this stretch of road too, for damn good reason. Rock store tops out at Canaan Road, which goes from the, from the valley. That's one of the busier ones. So Canaan is an exit off the 101 and you can take it straight over to the beach in Malibu. So that's one, we'll go down Canaan to get to the beach if you're if you're on Mahon at the top. Uh, I won't ride it up too much, it's just the cars are going too fast. Going down, you're going the same speed as cars and it's pretty safe. Uh, going up, a little bit hairy. So we'll take Latigo up, for example. Latigo is right over there. That one connects from Canaan to, uh, to the Pacific Coast Highway. So past Canaan, you're getting close to Ventura County here, out of LA County. And now is where you can see the ocean pretty good. Uh, that's awesome. I love the, the first moment you can see the ocean from Mulholland or from anywhere. It's always a good part of the day.
this part of Mulholland also is home to a handful of like vineyards, Malibu wines, there's a safaris, like tourist attraction-y wedding venues, stuff like that. Places where you have a birthday party where the women wear like expensive hats, you know? So over here, we're near the top of Ensenal. Uh, we're gonna visit our camel friends. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, he's, he's doing the same as always. I don't know, maybe he's not doing so good. It looks like his legs fell off. It's rough. Now normally road close is bad news. Mulholland, another section, it's, it's good news. Uh, due to the fire, they closed the, the final section of Mulholland Highway that goes down to the beach. Uh, but it's open to cars. This was the coolest part of my Fondo last year. We got them to, to let us through this stretch. And, uh, and now I'm going to enjoy it solo, coasting down to the beach. the end of, of Mulholland. This is Mulholland Highway at PCH. Hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have and as much as I always have. Uh, just awesome views. Hope you can get out here sometime and enjoy it yourself. Maybe Cookie Fondo 21. The, uh, that's it. That's all I got. I've got to fight my way home through a bunch of beach traffic. So wish me luck. Peace.